So it's become very clear to me in the year 2023 that there is a perceived lifestyle that everyone wants to live. And you see this on social media. I don't know if it's a function of social media, but people want to make money online. They want to work remote. They want to travel the world, right? They want all these things. They want passive income. I mean, there's a very curated image of what that looks like. And the good news is it's there for the taking for literally anyone that wants it. I think most people run into issues with this uh, lack of sustainability. You get people chasing fat ads, you get people chasing side hustles, when the reality is the core of the digital revolution is staring all of us right in the face, okay? Guys, I've been doing this for a decade now, right? I've done it as a solo entrepreneur, I've done it as, a, you know, a, the genius CEO who's running a bigger enterprise. Let me give you an example of how my world looks sometimes. So, you know, in March, next month, maybe this will be posted by then. So maybe follow me on IG, you can see the story, but, you know, I'm taking my family to Colombia, right? We're chartering a jet, it's $50,000 both ways. We're, you know, getting a penthouse, that's, you know, probably 10, 15, thousand for the week we're eating at the best restaurants you know like like all in it's it's a hundred thousand dollar trip probably this week i'm at dorado beach renting a place thirty thousand for the week spa dinner you know massage all the things you know nannies everything that adds up it's probably a, a 40 fifty thousand dollar week i don't really keep track but i'm sharing this with you because my point is you should listen to me i've been doing this all digitally for a long time i've never stepped foot never ever set foot in an office and I don't intend to. For those of you that are looking to make money online, travel the world, live life on your own terms, not have a boss, not subscribe to others' ideologies for you, what I'm trying to do here is take you on your own hero's journey, all right? And so as we set out on your hero's journey, there's one thing for you to know, that it is only you. You and only you are responsible for your fate. All right, you're stepping out on this. No one else is going to make money for you. I'm not going to make money for you. I can give you resources. I can be your guide. Others can be your guide. You can pull things from individuals, but nobody else is going to actually do it for you. The hero's journey is you and only you. And so let's talk about the three pillars, the three practical pillars in which digital wealth is created upon. All right. And this isn't getting into investments or any of that other that stuff yet. I just want to talk about the three core pillars. You've got communities, you've got offer, and you've got media distribution. All right. And so communities, that's your, your circle. And you got to think of all this in, in a digital context. So social media, largely the internet, but communities, that's everything from your network of influencers and like-minded creators to the people that follow you and look up to you. Maybe your community's small right now, right? Um, how exactly this is categorized, that is something we will discuss later. That's something that's on you. But community is conceptually your digital, your digital tribe, your digital village. Offer, that's pretty straightforward. That's what you are offering. What are you offering your community? What are you offering the digital world? What are you offering that will make you money? This is monetization. And then media distribution. This is how is your media, how is your content, how is your message being distributed amongst the internet? And this largely ties back to social media platforms, but it's not limited to just those, right? We've got things like Substack, we've got blogs, you got websites, media distribution. So those are the three pillars in which you're going to build your life on. That you're going to build your your life without, what do they got, time, location, and financial freedom. Like those are the three pillars this can be built on. So next we got the three products. You've got subscription. This is often lower ticket stuff. Uh, subscription info products. You've got higher ticket and services. And then you have physical products. And so uh, these are all three freaking wonderful models. Three that I'm engaged in. When you think about subscription community, this the, the goal here is often to get someone to subscribe to whatever it is you're offering on a monthly basis, recurring revenue, all right? Monthly recurring revenue, that's the goal here, Subs subscription community. Higher ticket and services, this is something where, you know, you're usually offering much more. It's usually more time intensive for you, but with that often comes a higher price tag. There's a scale here with all of this, right? Some people have higher ticket subscriptions, that's rare. But again, none of this exists exactly in a vacuum. I'm just trying to give you the framework that you can think all of this through. And then last but not least, you have physical products. Um, again, something that, that can run on, on e-com. This is you know, Amazon, this is Shopify. Largely, you know, my decade has been defined by Amazon FBA success, building brands on Amazon, not wholesale or any of that silly stuff. All of this falls within your offer. Remember, we just talked about offer. So these three things are what you know, you're gonna need an offer for. And so as we start to think about your offer, it's very important to define the fact that 
you need skills. You need skills to have an offer of value. Otherwise, you're just full of shit and on the internet, right? And so part of this journey to becoming who you need to be, it requires developing the skills to have an actual offer. Like how the fuck are you gonna sell a social media marketing agency if you don't know shit about social media, right? Like I run, a, I run an e-commerce brand and I get people hitting me up all the time with social media marketing agency pitches. And I'm like, well, well how are you gonna scale TikTok? How are you gonna drive sales on IG? Like what specific value are you gonna provide and what, what area are you super good at? It'd be the same thing if you're a diet coach and you're fat, you don't know shit about nutrition, then what the fuck are you doing selling diet education? I think that's really important because too many people try to skip right to the offer and making money and that's where they lose the longevity. Again, this is your journey and part of your hero's journey is locking in and becoming the best that you can be becoming the version of yourself that is of value to the world, becoming the version of yourself that is of value to your community, becoming the version of yourself that attracts other creators and helps you build a network. As we really start to think about this, depending on where you're at in your life, you know, maybe you have the skills, right? Maybe you are a little bit older, or maybe you're just 18. I see like all sorts of videos on that. You have to first pursue a level of personal development that yields meaningful value that you can actually sell or you have to learn how to create a product or you have to bring a product to the world that is of value so these are all the different things that that file together right like i have a um, an amazon mentorship that's eventually going to evolve into a broad e-commerce mentorship that also cover you know personal branding and all of these other things but the only reason i can offer that and have it be a, a solid product that people pay for that people provide you know, that, that people actually want to subscribe to is because I've spent damn near a decade of my life building brands on Amazon. All right, building e-commerce brands, thinking through all the different details, everything that goes into building a brand I have done. With this framework, I truly believe that anyone can embark on their own hero's journey because all of this stuff can be done remote. There's skills that you'll pick up along the way. There's tools you'll use along the way. You might learn how to build a team. It truly is limitless in this world. Like I can see a billion dollar path without ever having to set foot in an office. And I think that's beautiful. As you guys think through the life it is that you wanna live, understand that putting time, effort, and resources into these avenues will ultimately yield you a level of freedom that makes you time, location, and financially free. I can promise you that. If you guys got any other questions, hit me up on IG. I love this stuff.